OS Open Zoom Stack is a comprehensive vector-based map showing coverage of Great Britain as a single file. It makes elements of OS Open Data available as one seamless base map and has been designed to make Ordnance Survey map data accessible. The data was released in January 2019. Sys Desktop 9 has extensive support for the Ordnance Survey Open Zoom Stack data and there are multiple ways in which this can be added into the Sys Desktop. We support Mapbox tiles stored directly on Amazon or as a locally downloaded file or as an OGC GeoPackage single file. Data can be found from Googling OS Open Zoom Stack Ordnance Survey. So what we're going to do today is just show you how easy it is to add the ZoomStack data into our um, desktop application. So what you see here is we have our um, Stevenage boundary and I want some mapping that we can just place directly into the um, map so we can, we've got some references to where this, site, this location is. So what you see is I can take the OS open ZoomStack data and just simply drag and drop that straight into the map. And what the Sys Desktop will do is it will read the data and apply by default the light style that's provided from the Ordnance Survey. So what you can see on the left hand side is that we have all the features that the data set um, supports. And what you'll see as I start to zoom in, it will go through all the different um, data sets which have been scale thresholded and they turn on at the appropriate scales. So as, you, as we start to zoom in, you'll see we get kind of our points of interest, which of our schools and our churches and our um, kind of towns or cities names. And then as we start to zoom in, we start to pick out the street names that are being shown on the map. And then we go right down into kind of our detail uh, mapping that shows us kind of our building outlines and things like that as well. The data is fully customizable by the user. So what we could do is say that we're going to turn off our local buildings, uh, we're going to turn off our contours, we're going to turn us off our surface water and our foreshore and our water lines. And what you'll see is the map has changed. So here we add our um, lake and we add the buildings and now we're able to customize that map as much as possible um, or as much as we want to in order to um, replicate how the data looks in our in our minds and what we want to see. And what you'll see is because we've turned it off, the data is replicated throughout all of the different um, scales that we've used to zoom in and zoom out. What we can also do to enhance the data is bring some other um, data sets in. So for example, um, the um, green space data that is provided by Ordnance Survey is provided as a geo package. And again, we can just simply drag and drop that in and what it will do is it work as a, a really good base map that allows us to provide a continue allows the system to provide a continuous map base for the data that we're going to see on the map in front of us. And that's one way of um, kind of enhancing the data. Um, and we can see all the different um, green space data sets that we've got available in front of us as well. It's worth noting um, that if I just turn this off quickly, um, we also support the geo package as an as a um, spatial database. So if I um, were to say that we want to add overlay, what we can do is we can connect to our own and survey um, data set. So ZoomStack is now uh, one of these options in the Sys9 desktop. And what we can do is we can actually, we have the utilities that will write these to a spatial database. So if you're using the data corporately across an authority, um, it makes more sense to hold these into a spatial database. Um, which we can connect to and like I said the OS utilities allows us to connect uh, allows us to write that data into a spatial database or what we can also do is connect directly to that OGC geo package so as you've just seen I'm going to connect to that exact same one click next if we do this option we get to pick whether or not um, we choose the default which is the light or um, we can say that maybe we want to choose our um, night uh, theme this time and what I'm also going to do is maybe I'm going to turn off our contours, surface water, foreshore, water lines and our local buildings to start with as well so we can customize the data on the way in this way and then when we click finish the data comes in and it does exactly the same thing we've got a different theme attached to it which shows up really nicely when it looks um, when you look at it in the desktop and again we've brought all the data in and we can see all the different scale thresholds that are applied for the different data sets as we zoom in and zoom out. So that's the desktop side of things. Um, in the web, it looks even better. 
um, the zoom stack data here in front of us is using the again it's using the light default style that we've applied um, but what you'll see as we start to zoom in we start to get more and more detail so we've got our roads on there now we're starting to see our tubes and our railway lines we can zoom right in until we get right down to a kind of a lower level and again now we can start to pick out our um, street names and our building outlines and, and more specific information but the the idea is that it's got that consistent base mapping um, that that gives a seamless um, map throughout the entire application whether it be in desktop or the web so what you've seen there is how easy it is to add in the the, the os open zoom stack data provided by the audience survey as a geo package and we've talked about the utilities that allow us to write that into a spatial database if you wanted to uh, use it across a, a corporate holding such as a local authority.